This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover elevators. Before we begin, you will need to know how to add movers and triggers. I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. I will add links to my tutorials in the description below. There are two things you need to add to your map in order to make an elevator. The first one is the elevator mover, which you see here. And to do that, you come to the left toolbar and on the Add Mover brush, right click and select Elevator Mover instead of the regular one. The second thing you will need is the Elevator Trigger, which is this thing here. You come to the Actor Class Browser, you go to Triggers, and underneath Triggers you will see Elevator Trigger. So when you're planning your elevator, you will need to know how many floors you have which the elevator is going to go to. So in this particular case, I have three floors. That means that there is a resting position, which is here at the bottom, and then one, two, three floors that it has to go to for a total of four keys. So what I mean by keys is if I go into this view, I'll show you here in this window. If you right click on it, there's key zero, which is the resting place. Key one is the first floor. Key two is the second floor. Key three is the third floor. And then back down to zero. So then when you go into the elevator properties, you will see that the number of keys equals to four. So that corresponds to how many keys you've built your mover. The next thing that you need to touch is the sound for the mover sounds. And here you have, I have made one for the opening sound and one from the closing sound. And make sure that you do not use anything for the ambient sound because if you put something here, that sound is gonna play all the time. So just leave that one blank. Choose one opening sound and one closing sound. Then under Object Initial State, you need to change that to Elevator Trigger Gradual. Come up here to Events. The tag under Events should say Elevate 1, is what, that's what I used. Then here under Mover, Move Time, I made it 1.5 seconds. It's a little bit slow. I just did it for the purpose of this tutorial. You probably want to reduce that either down to one or even 0.5 seconds. Then under encroach, you must change this to ignore when encroach. And that means that if there's a player underneath the elevator and you come down on it, it'll just ignore and go straight to the position. If you use any other type, it will break the elevator. Now let's go to the triggers. On every floor, I've put one trigger to start with just to show you how that looks. You right click on it, select properties. And the first thing is B trigger once only. Set that to false because you want to reuse the elevator. And then here is the main thing. It's the keyframe. Which keyframe are you going to? So this one is on the first floor. So that would be, remember how zero is the keyframe in the resting position? This one would be number one. So when you come here, it's going to be go to keyframe one. And then under events, you have to put elevate one, but in the event field, not the tag field. Then you come up to the second floor. You're now going to keyframe two because that's the second key. And again, under events, elevate one. This matches the tag of the mover. Here's the third floor. Go to keyframe three and under events, elevate one. 
And finally, on the wall, notice that this is not on the lift, this is on the wall, I have my fourth trigger. This one is going to keyframe zero because it's going to go back down to the resting position. And again, elevate one. And don't worry about these two things. I just added them for a little bit of a sound to show that you've pushed my imaginary button on the wall and just plays a little beeping sound to show that you've done it. So let's try this in game. So here's the elevator mover. And as you see, it won't do anything because it's set to a specific elevator gradual trigger. Come up to the first floor. Here's my first trigger when I step on that area. And then I can step on the elevator and then I have to push this imaginary button to go back down. And you don't need to have the mover go and be triggered by every floor. So for instance, I can avoid that trigger. I could be a player on the third floor and call the elevator. And it, it wouldn't make a difference. So this is only showing you the basic steps. Obviously, on the wall, you would need to have more buttons to give the player the flexibility to go up to different floors. So there's quite a bit of work involved in making a nice looking elevator. And really, in my opinion, not so practical for a deathmatch map because it's too fast paced. It's more likely you would use this for assault, maybe even capture the flag and certainly other third-party mods such as Monster Hunt or, for instance, a single-player mod would work very well with that. And of course it depends on the setting. Are you building some sort of a large high-rise building and you'll need elevators? That's up to you. One final note is that you don't necessarily have to build an elevator. You can just use the elevator mover and the trigger to build something where you need to be able to control some object that moves from one location to the next to the next and then back again. For example, a train is something else you could build using these triggers.